Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about the second group of fungal classification which is the Ascomycetes. Before this, we have talked about the first group of fungal classification which is Phycomycetes. Now we are going to talk about the second group which is Ascomycetes. So these Ascomycetes we are talking about, they are also known as the sac fungi. Why are they called so? Because of the presence of some sac like structure which we will discuss later on in this video. So they are also known as the sac fungi. Now this group of Ascomycetes, they have got a very diverse group of species that are included in this group. About 30,000 species are included in this group. So you can understand, so they have got a very diverse group of organisms which are included. They have got the septate hyphae. What do we mean by septate hyphae? It means that the protoplasm of the hyphae is separated by certain structures which are known as the septum or the septa. So they are septate hyphae which, which are uh, mostly they have got septate hyphae but unicellular yeast. Now we know yeast are unicellular uh, in structure. So these unicellular yeast they may have got structures which are known as pseudomycelium. So what do we mean by pseudomycelium? They are not actually that like that of the hyphae or mycelium. What happens? The yeast, these type of cells, they keep uh, dividing like this and they form mycelium like structure. So you can see that is the reason they are known as the pseudomycelium like structures. So in unicellular yeast, these are the pseudomycelium. The septa, it possesses certain pores inside it which are known as the septal pores. So what are the functions? It actually helps, these pores actually helps in the communication between the adjacent cells of the hyphae. So they help in communication. The spores are produced in special sac like structures which are known as asci. So I, I hope now you can understand that why these ascomycetes are also known as sac fungi because the spores which are produced are produced in some certain uh, special sac like structures which are known as the asci. Now the reproduction in these cases like in ascomycetes they can happen asexually by budding or also by the formation of spores. So what do we mean by budding? In budding what happens? A small outgrowth is formed. Now because of this outgrowth it grows in structures, it matures, its weight becomes heavy then it slowly detaches from the parent body. So after it detaches from the or separates from the parent body it now grows into an individual organism. So this is uh, in case of budding and spores we know it is more certain uh, structures uh, which are formed under unfavorable conditions. Later on under favorable conditions this can germinate into new organisms. Sexual reproduction is also seen in some of the cases of ascomycetes. Now in some of the fungi what happens the male and the female sex organs are differentiated that means the male and the female sex organs are properly differentiated from each other. Here the male sex organs is termed as the antheridium whereas the female sex organs they are termed as the ugonium. So they are properly differentiated. Now the fertilization it occurs in two steps. The first step is the plasmogamy. What do we mean by plasmogamy? In plasmogamy what happens? The cytoplasm fuses. So two cells their cytoplasm will fuse first and then what happens? It is followed by a, a process which is the karyogamy which means the fusion of the nucleus. So first cytoplasmic fusion happens after that the nucleus or the genetic material fusion happens which is known as the karyogamy. Now in some of the cases what happens the cary when karyogamy is delayed after plasmogamy that means the fusion of the cytoplasm has taken place or occurred but is not uh, followed by karyogamy then this intermediate stage is known as the dikaryophase. So this is the intermediate stage. Some of these dikaryotic cells they can function as the ascus mother cell. Now these ascus mother cell they can later on act as seeds of both uh, karyogamy as well as meiosis. So in this video we have talked about the second group of fungal classification which is known as ascomycetes and we have also talked about some of the important characteristic features of this group of ascomycetes. So I hope you have understood and like this video. Thank you.